it, guys. We got it. Okay, so a little while ago, I made a video called Chicken Tries to Get Ring of Smithing. And um, in that video, I basically did a whole bunch of ringmaster quests, hoping I would get the ring of smithings. Spoiler alert, I, I didn't get the ring of smithings. Now, this weekend was carnival again, but I was away, so I couldn't record any videos. But I did the ringmaster quest on my phone. And well, guys, we finally got it. We got it, boys. We got it. Uh, yeah, this is basically really useful for Road to Sponsor because, well, one quest is getting all the Ringmaster rings and, well, we're one closer to completing that quest. Another quest is to forge an iron buckle. So I'm pretty soon going to make a Road to Sponsor episode about this. But in today's video, I basically just want to check out smithing. I have no idea how to smith. I already tried to search it on the Grotopia wiki, but, um... I, I didn't understand it, okay? I just basically didn't understand it. Anyways, guys, today we're going to check out smithing. I already have an anvil. I don't have a forge yet, so we need to buy that. And I believe you also need crystal smithing tools. I honestly don't know how it works. We're going to try to smith, okay? This intro is already way too long, so let's, let's just get to Grotopia. All right, guys, we're in Grotopia, and look, look at this, guys. Look at this. Ring of smithing. To be honest, this ring doesn't really do anything. Well, that is, unless you want to smith something, then you're definitely going to need to wear this. And look at what we got here, guys. Look at this. It's an anvil, baby. I got this one a pretty long time ago from a Wolf World. I just kept it all that time. I didn't want to sell it because I knew I was going to need it one day. And, well, that one day... It's today. Uh, let's actually see what the info of the anvil says. You can forge astounding weapons on this if it's next to a forge that's been heated to a thousand degrees and you have smithing tools and wear a ring of smithing and a blacksmith apron. Okay, so we still need to buy a blacksmith's apron. I hope that's cheap. Oh, and have some item that you want to smith. If you got all that, go ahead and use the item on the anvil. Okay, well, the gift of the unicorn also has to do something with smithing. But I have no idea what sword pommels and sword blades are. So we're just going to put that back where it belongs. Okay, we're in my storage world right now. And this is where I keep all my nuclear fuel. And I also have over 100 shield fragments. So we can forge a shield today if everything goes alright. But um, I don't know where I've dropped them. I think the nuclear fuel is in here. Um, never mind, it's not in here. Okay, in that case, the nuclear fuel should be here with the Geiger prices. Okay, we got eight. That's not going to be enough because the forge needs to be a thousand degrees. And I think each fuel makes it 100 degrees higher. I'm not sure about this, but um, yeah. Okay, now I need to find my shield fragments. I think they are with the fishing items. Um... Shield fragments. Yeah, there we go, guys. 104 shield fragments. That's enough to make a shield. Right now, we need to buy a forge. Um, a blacksmith apron. Crystal smithing tools. And we need to buy more nuclear fuel because right now we only got 8. And I think you at least need 10 or even 11. I'm not sure, but you need to get it to 1000 degrees. And well, each nuclear fuel only does 100 degrees. So we need more nuclear fuel, okay? Okay, guys. First of all, the forge. Easy. Three world locks. We got the forge. Easy. Okay, then we need to find nuclear fuel. I'm in the world buying nuclear right now. Let's see, two per world lock. Okay, let's just buy 20 for 10 world locks. All right, we also got the nuclear fuel. Next up, blacksmith's apron. Okay, according to the world buy apron, a blacksmith's apron is 13 to 19 world locks. Okay, let's take a look at the board real quick. Um... Sell normal apron. Sell 1 slash 7 world locks. Okay, someone on the bulletin board said he sold it in this world. Um, blue crystal, red crystal, green crystal, white crystal. Blacksmith apron. There we go. He sells 7. We only need 1. Alright, we got it. Now we need our last item in order to smith. And that's crystal smithing tools. Okay, guys. I honestly have been searching for such a long time already. And well, if you want to make the crystal smithing tools yourself... You need two black crystals, so um, that's really expensive. And in this world where I'm in right now, the owner sells it for 70 world locks each. And I know that's really expensive, but well, two black crystals are more expensive. So I'm going to buy both because I want to smith in this video and I want to smith in the road to sponsor video. So I need two. Let's buy them. 140 world locks. In one second, gone. Great. I love smithing, guys. It's very, very cheap. And very nice. Yeah. 
All right, guys, here we are in my world. I got everything that I need right now so we can finally smith. I think you first need to place the forge and need to place the anvil next to it. I don't know why I'm doing this without actually checking it because if I place this wrong um, and I need to break my anvil, well... It doesn't go back to your inventory, and that's going to be really expensive. Oh yeah, by the way, while I was doing the quest, I actually got a medical scar from doing the surgery quest. How about that? I actually made profit while doing the ring quest because of the medical scarf. Great, okay. So you need to wear the ring of smithings, and you need to wear the blacksmith apron. All right. And I think if you put nuclear fuel... Yeah, okay, now it warms up and it slowly goes down. Okay, so let's take a look at the info of the smithing tools real quick. Maybe they tell us what we need to do. These are the perfect tools for doing blacksmithing works, provided you don't mind the fact that crystal tools shatter when used. Okay, so you only can use them once. Okay, but I honestly don't know what to do with them. Um, you can't equip them. You can't use them on anything right now. Okay, so what if we put the forge to over a thousand degrees? So we need to put 11 in there to get it over a thousand and then drop the shield fragments on the anvil and maybe then touch it with the crystal smithing tools. I really don't know what I'm doing here, okay? Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, wait, what if we drop it on the forge itself and, and then punch it or some shit? Use crystal smithing tools. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't know. Okay, wait, put it back on the anvil and bunch it what are we supposed to do i don't understand it i really don't understand it Okay, wait, I read the wiki again. Uh, meanwhile, the forge isn't a thousand degrees anymore, but we can just use another nuclear fuel on that. And it's back to a thousand. I think what you need to do is stand on the anvil and then just use the shield fragment as a consumable on yourself. We did it! We did it, guys. You forged the warrior shield. Your crystal smithing tool broke, though. Okay, so we don't have the smithing tools anymore. But look at that. We got a warrior shield. Okay, let's take a look at the info. This is a lovely crafted shield, but you can't punch blocks with a shield. Maybe you can combine this with a weapon to make a complete set. Wait, wait, hold on. So you can't, you can't equip it. Uh, can, can you drop it? Yes, you can. Why can't you equip it? What's that shit? Okay, well, great, guys. We made a shield. But you first need to make a blade in order to do anything with it. Okay, well, I'm in the world called Boy Blade right now. And I checked all the guest books. And, well, no one sells it. I've been to a whole bunch of worlds already. And all have been sold out already. I can check more worlds just to be sure. Let's go to KPV. Okay, let's check this shit out. Uh, nope. There are no blades in this world. We basically made a warrior shield that is completely useless. And it costed us 70 world locks for the smithing tools. And well, all the shield fragments, I don't know what they're worth. Let's actually search how much the warrior shield is basically worth. Buy shield. How much are you worth, warrior shield? All right, we're in the world 77Z right now. Um, they don't say how much the shield is worth in this world. Great. Okay, it's for sale for 150 world locks in the world called Shield. I'm just going to put it in a vending machine for 100 world locks. I don't know what else I could do with it. Hopefully, I can sell it for 100 world locks. I don't know if I lost world locks with that or if I made a little profit because, well, the smithing tools costed 70 world locks and I basically don't know how much the shield fragments are worth. I told you guys I was going to smith in this video and we fucking did it, boys. Okay, well, I don't have anything better to do right now, so I'm just going to harvest all my unicorns. Okay, great. Well, we didn't get anything good from the unicorns. Great investment. Everybody buy unicorns today. You will... 
lose your root locks. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I am going to make another smithing video pretty soon because, well, we need to do it for Road to Sponsor. We need to make the iron buckle. But that's going to be a Road to Sponsor episode. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and put on notifications. That way you will get notified when I upload the Road to Sponsor video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.